even if Ms. Parham had been um, guilty of the crime that she was accused of, still the, the judge at the time, as well as jury members at the time, who were all men, they recommended um, what you would call clemency. Um, but you know, Paul, when you look at the facts of the case as reported, and please, none of us were there in the courtroom back in 1963, but when you look at what is reported to have happened, um, I don't believe that right-thinking members of society today would have wished for Ms. Parham to have been convicted. So, and, and, and we know as a matter of history that thousands of people wished for her to be um, given clemency at the time. Unfortunately, it was a colonial government administration under the governor, Sir Peter Stallard. And despite all the pleas for clemency, those pleas were turned down and Ms. Parham was sent to hang. So the wrong, I think, was that when we look at the horrible domestic violence that Ms. Param suffered. Um, when we look at all of that, I believe that today a decision could have been different. We cannot bring back Ms. Param, but what we can do is right a wrong in the best way that we can at this time.